this is Mike Cannondale, and you're watching episode three of Nash Cycling. Episode three, here we are, one for the roadies this time. Uh, so as you saw in the introduction, this is my Cannondale Synapse 2016 Alloy. So just give you a quick rundown of uh, the components I've had to put on the bike and I've upgraded to is uh, obviously, most obviously you see is the um, Mavic Cerium disc wheels. Yes, I'm running disc brakes, best for the road bikes. Uh, Upgraded them because the bearings on the stock ones that came with the Cannondale um, wore out pretty quickly. So I had to upgrade to them. Um, went for a bulletproof pair, really good reviews online. I've had no issues with them since. Really happy with them. Um, moving down, obviously, I've got, as you see, disc brakes. I upgraded the rotors to the Shimano Ice Tech rotors. You'll all obviously also be able to see I've uh, upgraded the bike. Um, I say upgraded, changed it, everything white. Um, I really like the colour, yeah, it stains easily. It means I've got to clean it a lot, but I'm happy with that. Um, and I think, don't know whether you agree or not, I think it looks really neat on the bike, all the wires. Got the bottle cages, the saddle, bar tape, um, the hood ends as well. So I upgraded all them white, just because uh, that's the colour I'm really happy with. So moving back down the bike a bit, we've got Shimano Tiagra chain set. Um, we can set the back, rear mech, front mech. Uh, I've gone for a Cannondale SI carbon fiber crank set, BB30. Um, I've gone for a slightly older set um, just because I think it looks really neat uh, and it was a bit of a bargain on eBay. Um, yeah, we got, I'm not sure if you can see on the camera, got little gold and cable end caps just because they look smart, a bit stand out a bit. Um, yeah, I've had Shimano Tiagra from, from you, from the bike. Um, from the bike store and never had any issues with it. A couple of indexing issues, but I've managed to work them out with the help of the local bike shop and a couple of mates. Um, so it now runs perfect. Um, also, as you can see, I've got a gold extra lightweight 10 speed KMC chain. Uh, moving to the cassette, we run in 11 through 28 on the back um, and we've got 5034 on the front. Um, I, again, we live in Norfolk, never have any issues with the with the teeth and the gears that I've got on the bike. Never think, oh, I wish I had another gear or um, at either end really, so that's a bonus. So really happy with how it's set up, runs really smoothly and uh, keep it clean, keep it working. Um, I'm riding this bike currently, it's a large frame, so it's a 61 centimeter frame. Um, I ride a 90 millimeter stem, 44 centimeter wide bars. Um, I need the wide bar again because I'm quite tall, um, hence, hence the size of the bike. So it does, uh, there is a little bit of weight penalty with the, with the bigger bike, obviously. Um, I don't know exactly, but I would put this at um, sort of 10, 10, 11 kilos. Um, obviously without any of the lights or, or bottles or anything fitted to it. So it's not bad, it's, it's light to pick up. Um, obviously being aluminium and not carbon, again, that's a little bit heavier, but um, I've, I've had no issues with it. I love the bike, I love how it rides. Um, the feel of it is amazing, it's never let me down. Um, you know, and yeah, I, uh, I hope many more happy miles to come. Something I forgot to mention earlier on is um, I've wrapped the Mavic Siriums in um, Continental GP4000 S2s, 25mm. Um, 
I got these tyres just because everyone was raving about them and uh, the, the tyres I had on there were getting a bit old and a bit knackered. So I um, bit the bullet and purchased these um, and I haven't looked back. I've, they roll incredibly well. Um, the difference in feel, I was a bit sceptical of. I mean, how can tyres feel any different? It's just rubber at the end of the day. No, I was so wrong. Um, these are perfect, they feel nice, they're comfortable and most of all they're fast, they're really fast rolling um, and you do notice the difference, um, you do go a lot faster on these tyres. So if you've um, enjoyed this video, give it a like, comment down below, um, hit subscribe for more. Um, what I'm hoping to do is I'll get a few more, few more bikes, both sort of um, budget level, entry level bikes, um, as well as I'll try and get some um, I know a few guys with some really nice top end bikes, so um, I'll ask you if I can have a look at them. Um, get them on the channel for you as well. Uh, yeah, it'd be interesting to just create a little playlist just of uh, some bikes people, people use. Uh, yeah, so thanks very much for watching. Um, I appreciate you giving up your time. Like I said, like, like the video, comment down below, subscribe for more content, and we will be back in a week with another video. Cheers, guys.